स्टार्स ऑफ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट वेर योर होस्ट ज्योति जी एक्सपोज द माइंड ऑफ द थॉट लीडर्स हु हैव वास्ट एक्सपीरियंस एंड इन डेप्थ नॉलेज इन द लर्निंग इंडस्ट्री नाउ वॉट यूर होस्ट ज्योति जी हेलो एवरी वन हार्टी वेलकम टू सीजन टू ऑफ स्टार्स ऑफ लर्निंग पॉडकास्ट एंड आई एम योर होस्ट फॉर द शो एंड इट फोर्थ नाइट आई इंटरव्यू दी थॉट लीडर्स इन द लर्निंग इंडस्ट्री हु विल शेयर द बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस ऑफ लर्निंग टू द करेंट सिनारियो वी विल ऑल्सो डिस्कस चैलेंजेस सोल्यूशन लेटेस्ट ट्रेंड्स टूल्स टेक्नोलॉजी एंड लीडरशिप एंड देयर जर्नी इन द लर्निंग फील्ड So friends today we will have conversation with one and only Archana Garg founder and CEO of Power Talk so why this conversation so today we noticed the jobs for her diversity survey found that companies start with 30% of the women at the entry level while the number of women dips at 10% at the managerial level and then reduces to only 1% at the leadership level and it's not likely to change soon friends women are the backbone of our society and with almost 90% of the employees adopted to new ways of working in 2020 we pose a different challenge for women so this year theme of international women's day 2021 is choose to challenge so i was wondering why not discuss on this topic where women has to challenge herself and not the limiting beliefs she has today as today if you look at women have excelled in each and every field from social work to visiting space station there is no arena which remains unconquered by women and they are making history whether it's politics sports entertainment everywhere women power is all along however apart from the core economic issues like racism sexism equal opportunity feminism bias gender pay and many other right women struggle with career development and that's a big big challenge and progression too and that is mainly because of the fear they come across so why not break the ice on how to engage in power talk and move up in our career so the intent is you know we must face towards the sunshine as an opportunity face it and never see the shadow so friends i was searching anyone in india who is especially with kind of a brand with that kind of a nest network who is strong in connecting with leaders and negotiating and she is a brand by herself and you must explore her power talk with interesting thought leaders so friends archana is also a global speaker and mentor and she has expertise in training pr and communication change management and many more in her kitty so friends her recent honors has been women entrepreneur of the year 2020 and she has also been an outstanding professional achievement and contribution in nation building 2020 so this episode you should never miss out and uh, do check out on her social profile on what all the quality inside she is working uh, to empower women i felt this is the need of the hour for the women to engage in power talk so friends stay tuned you will see value for yourself in our conversation so put your gates on and without any further ado let me welcome my guest archana garg award winning ceo on a mission to add value to her network corporate positioners once again a warm welcome archana to stars of learning podcast thank you so much jyoti thanks for those warm words for me thank you so much more power to you very very happy to be on your show same here archana i'm so excited that you're joining me today so let's jump in with no further delay on this interesting topic on you know the secrets of power talk so archana you have been hosting power talk and we will be talking about the whole thing today and this is a powerful practice and with your experience can you share why power talk is important 
See, you know, uh, it's about power talk. Uh, in fact, I feel any conversation, you know, or any dialogue, any message, the very essence lies in the impact it can create. And that is what we are trying to do at Power Talk. So, you know, the, the uh, essence lies in the fact that it has to be very impactful. It has to reach out to the right people and for people to take action any conversation that doesn't have any you know meaning to it it doesn't really serve the purpose so even at power talk this is what we are trying to do you know you, you know, if you check out any single episode of the you know the kind of interviews i have taken with the thought leaders the business leaders across the globe you will find each episode has a meaning to it it has a solution to it there is a voice in the message they are trying to give which means it you it's time for us to act you know as we all are talking about staying being in the VUCA world today i feel life has always been unpredictable right we ha it, there has yes. been instability all along you know different phases of life does bring in a lot of instability but it's time True. to you know not raise those questions anymore we need to bring out you know answers to it and that's what power talk or any message for that you know matters should be doing now you know so that is the main idea behind power talk that we create answers for people to follow to and you know uh, solve their problems solve the you know uh, situations they are in every mm. information that is sent out to them is with a purpose these leaders right. who come on board the power talk that they create through our medium or any conversation mm. for that matter has to have that implication on the people when they hear it they should feel energized mm. they should feel positive they should see a ray of hope they should feel this uh, light at the end of the tunnel they should see it at the end of the world we cannot right. keep gripping over things that have happened pandemic is there it have we have we are facing the aftermath of the pandemic today the lives mm. have gotten you know completely derooted you know we uh, there are uh, people have been sacked yes there are uh, people are jobless yes I think this yes. pandemic actually, I don't know, gave birth to so many CEOs and entrepreneurs. Yes. But right. now what? This is what mm. Power Talk does. It talks about the life now going forward. Mm. We are trying to create that impact. We are trying to give solutions. We are trying to help and create that message that, yes, this is what you need to do. This is the way your life should be going forward. And I think that is very mm. important. In any message that you want to convey to people going forward. Let's not talk about negativities. Let's not talk about what has already happened. Let's let right. all our conversations be very progressive going forward. So that's the Wonderful. idea of Power Talk. And I would, yeah. <laughs> Your Power Talk is so powerful with so many nuggets in it. And you talked about life now. You said meaning. You said purpose, energize, and ray of hope. And you you were also talking about the solutions which you want to bring, and not talk about the you know uh, the previous problems. Uh, Archana, you interact with many leaders, right? And your power talk session is all about questioning people to get the best. So while talking, it's again important to ask the right questions, as that's the one of the hallmark of a good speaker or a leader right and how and when questions are asked can send unintended signals about the competence and the power of the other person so it can be a hindrance and people become quiet wondering what people would think should i really pose this question and all of that so if they do not begin that question itself they cannot go to the meaning they cannot go to the solution they cannot go to that purpose so asking the right question uh, would be a mantra so how should one handle that and be smart in having such dialogues See, uh, you know what, that's the job of a host, you know, you need to do your homework very well, the person you're inviting on the show is the background of the person, the photo of the person, and the reason why you have that person and what is the essence of that interview you want to convey in your, uh, the message that is finally sent out to your audience, you know, every interview has a message that goes out right so you need to be very clear on what is it that you want your audience to know by the end of the interview 
at any point right. in time if you feel that you know you probably you know maybe the uh, the person you're interviewing is not very comfortable with the question or would not like to answer it or it's going the other way to what you had asked then you know you need to be very carefully mm -hmm. listening you know you need to be listening intensely to each and every word that your um, guest says you know and that is how you can actually maneuver your way through and change the direction of the interview to suit what your uh, in, you know a guest wants to convey so that for that you have to be listening very intently and smartly so that you can handle that situation and trust me it's not difficult because you are very thorough with what you want to convey to your uh, your audience right so it's it's very easy it's just listen very very carefully to what you what are the replies you're receiving from your guests right. and you will be able to manage the rest right hmm. Hmm. Interesting. By the way, uh, Arjuna, studies show that women are more likely to downplay their certainty and men are likely to minimize their doubts and they move on, you know, even though they have a 60% knowledge, they are confident and they move on. How to deal with this kind of a characteristic which women face most often? Yeah, it's a beautiful question and you know, I think um, this has been going on for a very, very long time. I think this is quite a deep rooted problem, a concern actually. See, I feel uh, men have been raised a certain way, you know, our society being very, very patriarchal. You know, boys, I think it starts at that grassroots level where we are raising our boys, you know very important and they have been raised a certain way mm. you know uh, you know the do's and the don'ts the kind of uh, you know the, the liberties they have the kind of freedom they have the kind of authority they live with the kind of uh, favoritism that goes on you know women are you know are raised in a way where are, they are you know expected to function a different way react in a different way talk a different way you know the kind of demeanor they have is true you know they're supposed to be very quiet and be understanding and manage uh, you know, uh, as compared to boys who are being raised to understand that they are in authority, that they have an edge up, uh, as, you know, uh, in respect to their, uh, uh, you know, sibling. So I think there it, it needs to end there, you know, we need to train them to understand that there is, you know, we are talking about gender equality today, but it need not be and it must not remain as, you know, UN development sustainable goal number five. You know, it should not be just a number. It has a meaning beyond, you know. So I think we just need to understand that. And mm -hmm. it needs to start at that grassroots level where we teach our boys to treat, you know, their sisters or their mom or their wives going forward at the same level. You know, if they mm -hmm. are not taught to be, you know, be in authority all the time, I think we may be able to change this a bit. Also, the way we tell mm -hmm. our girls to behave a certain way, to dress up a different way, a certain way. I think if we change all those things, you know, a lot right. will change. But then it has to start from that because this has been ingrained into our system, you know, so yeah. much. And it is an age yeah. old thing. Yes, so yes. It will definitely are... disturb a lot of people. Yeah. yeah. So it will disturb a lot of people. It will create ripples in the ecosystem. But mm -hmm. this is the way it has to be. It has to start mm -hmm. at that ground level so that men become the boys, you know, they grow up to become responsible men and understand that, you know, mm. this is not how it functions. There has to be right. equality in the way both men and women are in the society because they both are very important and integral part of the society. You know what, Jyoti, I also mm. feel, you know, men and women, they literally complement each other, right? It's so much fun True. to be with them and enjoy right. our successes when they are around, right? So it's true, and, and enjoy true. their success when we are with them. So I think yes. it's all about you know taking each other as a team instead of you know working against each other. It's time to work with each other, and I think mm -hmm. then it will definitely resolve a lot of concerns. Mm -hmm. You you were bang on, and the culture is something very deep rooted, uh, Archana. And you may agree today. Women tend to say. I am sorry, more frequently than men, right? And often they intend it in this way as a uh, ritual way expressing their concern. We need to consciously work on our women's side of emotions. So what is your nuggets to balance the act? 
it's very important. You're very right. You know, women again, you know, it goes back to the way we have been raised, you know, and the way men have been raised. You know, because see, uh, we need to understand that I am sorry is not, uh, you know, so, I mean, this phrase is not used only when you're apologetic towards something, right? It is also bad news. You, you do say I'm sorry. So, you know, the implication of the phrase differs the way it is used in different situations. But I feel, again, it's very important that, you know, we understand and even the boys understand, the men understand that, you know, to be in authority, you know, uh, or to be able to accept, you know, that you have not done the right thing or, you know, you, you have faltered and be apologetic. I mean, it's okay. I mean, day in and day out as a leader, we do that, right? So you, we need right. to learn to accept it. I think again, it goes to the back to the same point, you know, which I referred to. In the earlier question, it's very important mm. to start it at the very grassroots level to let people mm. understand it's okay to, you know, apologize or say sorry. It's not only the task mm. of, of women because, you know, we women, girls have mm. been known as pacifiers, right? We have right. been trained to pacify situations. We have been trained in our minds to balance out everything, you know. We have been yeah. trained and taught and told that men are you know they have a certain mood swings they have certain way of living life they have authority in their voice they have they like to function a certain way whereas you know we've, so that, that's how we have trained our girls you know and that is what even men expect out of us that we be you know if, if, if a if man is in a bad mood then we need to you know kind of mm. balance it out like either remain quiet or you know do something else or maybe you know you know you know uh, direct the conversation to a different topic altogether so i feel yes you are right in a way but then i think a lot has changed over the years you know this was definitely the case maybe 10 mm. 15 years back but i think now with more and more women mm. working you know uh, and feeling more yeah, financially independent and the kind of education they are seeking at the moment i think a lot has yeah. changed but yes as you very rightly said a lot needs to be done. I think we just need to train our mind to accept each other as mm -hmm. equal and to understand that women do have mood swings, they do have their preferences, they do, uh, you know, have a certain way of reacting to things. And there mm -hmm. are situations where men would also be expected to balance it out, uh, to make it a more congenial uh, environment environment to stay in i think it is absolutely mutual it has to come from within the yeah. two people you know living under one roof you know to make sure it, it is you know kind of implemented mm -hmm. and you know implemented in a way that both are living a very peaceful happy life so um, i think it, it has to be both ways. true true yeah yeah very well articulated Archana. Archana, you did say that you know if you look at few uh, like last decade there has been a lot of change in the journey of women and yeah. you are an award-winning ceo on a mission to add value to your network and uh, i'm sure you have placed well in your branding and uh, when i coach many women uh, in uh, i see that there is no strong uh, brand building so uh, can you throw some insight to the women why brand building and positioning is important and i'm sure this is applicable to men too but then let me hear your nuggets on this absolutely i feel it's very important for both men and women it's important for everything at the professional and the personal level completely see it's very important to be self-aware it's very important to have that self-love you know when you do that you know then you get you know you know you understand the importance of everything that is associated with you you yourself need to understand that you mm. are a brand in yourself first that is very important if I have a company called Power Talk, who does this company belong to? This belongs mm -hmm. to Archana Girl. Who is Archana Girl? What has she done? So, you know, everything that revolves around you, that centers around you, you become a part of it and they become a part of your ecosystem. They are not adhered to you. They are weaved mm -hmm. into your system. So when they mm -hmm. are weaved into your system, they are mm -hmm. all those things are as important as you are. But then you need to feel the mm -hmm. important person that you are. You need to understand that you are a brand in yourself. So it is very important to create mm -hmm. that brand 
And how do we create that brand? We have been talking past one year, create a brand, have a personal brand, have a professional brand. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been talking about it, but how do we do that? See, it's very important to first and foremost, be understand that you are unique. Acceptance, self-acceptance is very important. See, Archana may not be good in everything. There are so mm -hmm. many things I lag in. That is the reason I, I have a team with me, right? Mm -hmm. Because Archana cannot do everything. I have a person mm -hmm. at the admin. I have a person at the, mm -hmm. the digital marketing level. I have a person at the PR level as well working for me. I have media partners. So why do we have that? Because we mm -hmm. have that because we need to complete our circle, right? We need mm -hmm. to project the best of who we are, what we are, mm -hmm. and what our brand helps. So we need to accept that. So have that acceptance that what, mm -hmm. what are your, uh, you know, the, the points that are good with you, the points that you need to work on. When you have that acceptance, you will be in a position to work on the things that you really right. need to work on to be effective. Point number two, it's very important to be unique. Since you have accepted mm. who you are and that you are different from mm. the rest of the crowd, you will always stay unique. You will not become copies of anybody because let me tell you, when you are copy of anybody, you definitely fade away with time because it's not coming from within you. You're always, always mm. copying somebody else. When it, will, when it comes it from within, it will always stay fresh because at yeah. that point in time, you're speaking your mind, you're speaking your heart, and you're speaking out from your soul. And that yeah. gets reflected in your work. Yeah. Right. Point number three for, uh, for brand mm -hmm. building or for personal building is you should be a very adaptable person. You know, you should be able to, by adapting, you know, mm -hmm. yourself, I do not mean that, you know, you become like a rubber yes you become like a rubber you become like water be like you know when mm. you, when when water is being poured into a vessel it takes the shape of the vessel right water has no flavor you add strawberry it works like strawberry you add mango mm. it, it starts uh, tasting like mango mm. all i'm trying to say is when you mm. are adaptable you 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 open doors you open doors and when you open doors yeah. you are in a stage of learning you are in a stage of accepting things where mm. people tell you. You are in a stage of, you know, taking feedbacks mm. the positive way. You are in a stage of saying, yes, I can do it. You are not trying to find out mm. faults in what the others are saying. You don't become a parrot. It is very important. You don't become a parrot because when right. you become a parrot, you are only repeating. You are only and only repeating what you only know. But when you open your doors, mm. that is the time when you start learning. That means you have accepted mm. there are people who are smarter than you. There are sweet and you're ready yeah. to learn from them. Yeah. Mm. It's so mm. very important to position yourself there. If you stay rigid, if mm. you stay, you know, you, you can't take a feedback from anybody. You do not want to learn. You consider yourself um, perfect. It ends there. It ends mm. there. It ends there. So it's yeah. very important to build your brand in a yeah. way where you know you, you, there is a consistency in the way you have, you know, uh, gone from an A to a B to a C to a Z, you know. So mm. it happens only when you transition to different changes in your life. And that happens mm. when you let the doors open, you know. So true, it's very true. important to create that presence for yourself. And, you know, uh, live by examples, you know, I think that is very, very important when you have a team or, or, or even when you are trying to project yourself in the market, when people know you, you need to follow what you really, really preach. It's very important yeah. because what you do, your team follows and that reflects yeah. in your in your work. Just imagine mm. I, have, I have a certain image. I am going out to the market and I have a certain image and I'm talking about uh, my my uh, mission and my vision and my goals. Right. Mm. That's Archana Gar talking. But what if my teammate, my colleague has a different view altogether? Mm. Yeah. And if yeah. the, the same, if my colleague goes out into the market, into the professional world, and he's not even aware of what Archana wants or what Archana thinks of the brand, it's over. It's yes. absolutely over. So to, to have everybody yeah. aligned, everybody yeah. need to yeah. speak the same language. Everybody mm. need to be aligned with what you really think of the company. They need to be as much focused. They need to be mm. as much dedicated. They need to be as much energized as you are, you know, every single day about what Power mm. Talk is all mm. about. You know, 
when they have you know better right. ideas when they have better suggestions to give you about your brand you have reached you know some level right. even then you haven't reached there you have reached somewhere where you are trying you you have you know kind of made things uniform right. for yourself that is that is the starting point when you have someone with you mm. who is who is at the same level yeah. as you are in terms of what you think about your brand you have just mm. that is your stepping stone from there you start yeah. building you know even there that is also going to take a long right. time so patience really wins but it is something which is mm. very important yeah. needs patience needs consistency needs a very open mind and it, and you need to be a learner all through your life because remember nobody is perfect you learn every single day and by whatever you think suits your yeah. uh, brand best and by bit in your system practice follow and definitely it's going to make big hmm wonderful wonderful archana you actually gave us such a phenomenal metaphor of water you know being consistent being adaptable uh, you know uh, change is something which is so constant and in the book of world we are living and believing in our strengths so but in the journey of women right many women shy in networking and in fact uh, few a few years back even i was like that uh, can you give your insights on power of networking as i see you great in networking and partnership with good companies and you being wonderful guests on your uh, power talk so i wanted to hear from you what what's the power of networking wonderful question jyoti i must say see it's a sense of who you are literally you are as strong as your network and this has always been and this will always remain for years and years and years and years and decades and decades to come now why it is important see one person can never win the battle i i have a strong belief in that one person can never yes you even if you start as a single person and you have a vision you will have a mob you know following you but then you are not single anymore right you you definitely have lots of people to right, support right. you right and that is what you need to really work or target on yeah. you know i think you know it is very important yes you are right women are shy at times to network because they are very um, you know they are very judgmental you know at times and they 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 don't want to be mm. judged rather i should be putting it this way that you know it's it's you know we feel that we we mm. are going to be judged and you know we are you know in the eyes of the people all the time they would think we are always you know questioning ourselves mm. is this the way to eat is this the way to dress up is this the way to talk is this um, my perspective the right perspective is this the right time to talk see again as i said you know it's very True. important not to look for validations outside be confident of who mm. you are i know this comes from the deep rooted fact of the way we have been raised but then i think with the kind of education today women are getting mm. they have turned into confident women and if not you know we still need mm. just 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 be that confident you just be happy with who you are be have that self love factor in you mm. love yourself to the maximum be sure of what you want to get into yeah. and don't look for validations outside yeah. that you are the only check you know for yeah. who you are right once yeah. you have done that i think you're ready to face the world you will be very happy yeah. see in a in a in a meeting full of mm. people, uh, men you know i have seen women you know uh, and quite surprisingly they mm. while even while they are talking you know they just kind of lower down their pitch you know right in the middle of the conversation why yeah. why would you do that when mm. you convinced when you have a perspective it is important to put forth that perspective and you know be very clear in what right. you want you don't have to seal your lips i'm not asking you to you know yeah. draw swords and fight no you don't have to draw swords you are just being yourself mm. and trust me men adore mm. it men love Self. confident women right men love to have in yeah mm. men mm. love to have confident women they love to have they have women who are competent and we need to let mm. them know yes we have arrived we are there we have a voice it's yeah. just, it's just that you have a voice and you need to it's to reach the right people right so you know i don't feel you need to be judgmental about yourself 
be sure who you I'm are if it just rock the world don't you not think yeah you know you will find right. them like you know in, in the at uh, the time of meetings you know by by giving presentations you know you will find reason when you feel oh uh, is this presentation the presentation people are wanting to uh, waiting to watch yes be sure of what you have put forth when you are sure of what sure. you are doing then the world will not hold you for anything right mm. you need to just you need to be able to justify mm. every move that you make right you should be sure of who you are you should be yeah. in fact yeah. i think you need not justify this to anybody as long as you are sure of what you're doing so i think that is very very True. important you True. need to be just sure of what you are doing be confident and never seal your lips if you have a perspective it must come out at the right time don't hold it for a mm. uh, you know later date yeah. to be expressed you know it needs to be told the message needs to be sent mm. at the right time do it and i'm sure this is going to really help women yeah. wake up yeah. that you have a voice it needs to be heard that's all yeah yeah sure sure the arjuna this itself is again a powerful insights on validation self love and you know you can rock the world uh, uh, arjuna and you have been phenomenal as you have won outstanding professional achievement last year and any guidance to the women who are struggling on how to balance their career see i i was just I, there was another interview where we were talking about this and you know uh, so uh, the gentleman asked me the similar kind of a question and i said see there is nothing like a perfect perfect balance honestly speaking jyoti i feel there is nothing like a perfect balance you have work you have home you mm. are responsible uh, for right. your children their education and so much more that goes on in the house of course your husband and uh, you know uh, even at work when you have plunged into work that it's you it needs a 100% dedication right but you know yes. i feel there you need to learn to okay. prioritize you know that's the only way to strike a balance mm -hmm. you know there are moments when a meeting is so very mm -hmm. important you cannot skip it because a meeting is not only alone you there are many people involved in the system right so everybody needs to be taken right. care of so at that point in time if the meeting needs me the mm -hmm. meeting needs me if it if it could have been postponed i would have postponed mm -hmm. it right so mm -hmm. that is the priority at that point in time and must be looked right. at you know in another another situation if there is a ptm or if there yeah. is any other situation at home that needs to be looked mm. into that's my priority at that point in time and for mm. that i must you know take care that work yes. is being looked after by somebody else you know if i, I if i need to be proxied it i need to be proxied that's about it <coughs> so i need to prioritize what is important right if work needs me at that point in time you must cater to that if your work needs you at that point in time that has to be looked into so that balance has to mm. be created and trust me that that happens when you mm -hmm. have open communication you know people have been talking about work life balance but how does it happen it happens when you have open communication with your people not only at work but even at home because it's a family right your work is also your family mm -hmm. right so it's your mm -hmm. it, it, there has to be open right. uh, communication there has to be integrated communication yes. where everybody in the system knows what's happening what are your pri priorities what are your things that you would want to do if mm. there is a situation everybody needs to know so there is if there is anybody who mm. can come up with a solution would come up with a solution so you can embrace that adopt that and then move on so communication is the key if you really really want to you mm. know uh, have that work life balance and you know keep all everybody happy because it's very difficult mm. to keep everyone happy you know you really get spent in the process True. so you know yeah. to save yourself from that yeah. it is very important the life can, there can be a balance only yeah. when there is perfect communication where there is acceptance that there are situations that need to be yeah. prioritized be it work or home and as per the you know uh, the uh, the situation be you have to uh, take it forward from there and of course keep everybody in the loop everybody mm. with the right uh, communication pattern so that you know everyone can help themselves and help one another solve the uh, situation in hand so so arjuna a uh, lot of wonderful things you know uh, on 
you know, very powerful, learn to prioritize and the open communication and all of that. Uh, wonderful insight. And Archana, I see you, I follow you a lot on the LinkedIn. So you also say that you must be the reason to bring you smiles, not wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Your past is not your blueprint and rewrite your story. It's not that easy as said, right? What is your strategy for that, Arjuna? Yeah, so I think, you know, it's very important. See, everyone has a story. Everyone has had fallouts. Everyone has had not good days. You know, you, you falter, you make mistakes, you, you make blunders, but then you wake up, you dust off the uh, negativity and then you again march ahead. Everybody has done that. I have done that. And none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. So it's absolutely okay to make mistakes. But I always say, you know, whenever I'm training women or, you know, men or even I meet a lot of startups, you know, I whom we mentor on a day in and day out. I always tell my people, you know, it's so very important to lead things in the past. The yeah. only thing that you should carry from your past are the learnings. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, see, it is our our habit you know to stay attached to uh, moments incidents books uh, people uh, you know the good things the bad things we definitely get attached to them more so much right. so that you know we completely lose ourselves we it's not mm -hmm. bad mm -hmm. to get attached to people be attached to people right. that shows your loyalty for them but you mm -hmm. should not lose yourself in the in the process when you lose your center, you know, your center is the fulcrum of energy that revolves around not only you, but also the people around you. When that mm -hmm. energy is displayed, displaced, that is when mm. you completely go more wrong. You lose focus, mm. you don't know how to prioritize, you don't know what is important for you. And it's not only mm. for you, but also the people around you, be it work and home, anywhere. Mm. Because if you mm. are in the worst of your moods, you know, you will not be able to give your best to the people who deserve the best of you, right? You are creating True. stress for them also while you are in stress. So yeah. for that, yes, stay attached, stay focused, love it, you know, relive those moments, definitely, mm. be it failure or be it the good moments, but don't lose yourself in the process. You know, it's mm. important to let them be in the good books. When you know, when you know, when you carry them in your present, then it becomes stale. Yeah. It stinks, and when it yes. stinks, it starts affecting your present. So mm -hmm. you know, if, if anything has gone bad in your past, it doesn't become mm -hmm. your blueprint. Oh, this is what Archana Gant is. Oh, this is mm -hmm. what Jyoti is. Oh, this is what she did, right? Mm -hmm. Just like your, uh, just like your successes, right? Having won the uh, uh, Women Entrepreneurs Award 2020 doesn't qualify me to be with the uh, Women Entrepreneurs Award 2021, hmm. right? Yes. It doesn't qualify yeah. me to become, uh, get me another UAE um, uh, She Achievers Award. Doesn't qualify yeah. me to be uh, another Achievers Award, uh, maybe uh, some other Achiever Award to be with the Forbes or be with Cost. No, it doesn't. Similar, hmm. when, the, when all good things, you know, end where they are, whether they were supposed to be similarly all the bad chapters of your life they are not your blueprint of who you are so you need to sure. let them be where they mm -hmm. are and mm -hmm. take learnings from because every chapter even a good chapter gives you mm -hmm. learnings a bad chapter gives you learnings bring them yeah. forward bring them take them bring them to your present and mm -hmm. share it with people so that it becomes a case study don't we share yeah. from with our children? You know, I, I share a lot with my children, you know, uh, how mm -hmm. I, I was in college, how I was post college in my uh, master's, how I was when I just got married. There's so many stories to tell, sure. right? So mm -hmm. carry them as stories, carry them as beautiful experiences because mm -hmm. th that is what makes life, you know, more enjoyable, you know? Yeah. But if you just, yeah. you know, think you, if it starts bringing wrinkles to your face, if you overthink about them, then you will be mm -hmm. spoiling your present also. So I think to be true, able to true. enjoy your past, you have to let it yeah. be in the past and just weave in beautiful moments in your present so that it blooms furthermore. I think that's it. Wow. <laughs> it was poetic, uh, Archana. Wonderful one. So Archana, again, following uh, you, uh, you say life is not a circle, it's an eight. 
that that was a stopper for me to you know get more insight so what is the story archana yeah so this is one of my articles on linkedin you know um, so uh, i feel you know everybody says you know life has come a full circle but i feel life never comes a full circle Uh, you know mm-hmm. even if you take like maybe your childhood to your adulthood to your college years to your post college years to your marriage to your uh, you know your uh, motherhood to being a professional to being so much more but is there any point where you feel okay fine now that's it you know that's it now i have lived a complete full happy life i think that mm. never happens really you know when i mm. uh, i was uh, i was one of a very good student at school i achieved and then i was like wow very happy i will be going to a very good college that happened mm-hmm. but then you know i feel when you make a you know you have a bigger goal and you have certain milestones that you achieve as you go on in life it doesn't mm. end the story there you know even if you reach your goal but uh, the way you started you will have mm. another goal set for you even before you achieve that goal trust mm. me that always happens there is never a sense of completion and that's what mm. makes me feel that life is not a circle it's a it's an eight because you're yeah. always in that loop you will you will keep and if that loop is you know spiral in nature because you go up and up and up and up and you have your milestone set for you one after the other you know mm. you, you never rest and you so have to yeah. take on those responsibilities you know yeah when i my first child was born i was very happy and we were like okay fine but then i had my second child i was like wow very happy that you know uh-huh. so so life just happens you know yeah. you were like okay now fine this has happened now okay i have i have been working from past 20 years okay fine now i think that's about it but no when you are on the in the 20th of the year of your work you feel okay let me give it another five and you happily do it yeah. yeah mm. so that's yeah. what i'm trying to say it all along because you have many milestones to achieve and your goals are get bigger and bigger by the day you never yeah. see you know with goals achieved yeah yeah very insightful yeah. so all my listeners if you are listening to this story you should create that you know uh, craving for people say it's a need and create that story it's not a circle it's a need yeah so moving on uh, 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 Archana, you know, uh, I've come across many women employees, uh, you know, who are very strong in their skills, and sometimes I notice that they see men as a threat, or they start playing low than their caliber. You know, you are a psychology expert. I thought I should be asking you, how should women deal in such a circumstances as? we are going to have men around and they, you don't have a choice you have to work in collaboration with men colleagues and we should not see them as a threat yeah. what is your views women a long back yes women did have this you know feeling of you know uh, you know staying you know kind of uh, silent or maybe you know have a slow pitch um then yes it did happen but i think now things are changing because they you know again it's all about acceptance whether yeah. is my presentation the right presentation is my perspective the right perspective you know uh, will yeah. my perspective be validated will my suggestion yeah. be considered you know so these questions i think these thoughts when we uh, when we move into a boardroom meeting or when we venture into a meeting or when we are talking to our clients or when we are in the process of negotiating with our client or you know addressing our teams when we mm. started with questions in our own mind i think then of all the delivery is going to be poor so i feel mm. yes uh, you are quite right there but we definitely as women need to understand that we cannot function like this you know we mm. have to be very sure and very true to who we are and you know sure of what we can bring to the table i think with the kind of mm. education today women have you know uh, they are they really kept themselves abreast with the latest trends they're very mm. knowledgeable very competent and they are doing mm. in all walks of life so i think it's time for them to end it at their end trust me when you mm. give somebody the liberty to treat you mm. in a certain way they will they yeah. will yeah. so it starts with you it starts with the woman herself so you need to respect your being yourself first when you mm. do not give anybody the liberty to treat you you know as if you do not know as if you are incompetent as if you the moment mm. you would open your mouth you would make a fool of yourself 
yourself or as if you are not sure of what you're talking your degrees are fake you're you mm. haven't reached or you're not capable of holding that such position so when you mm. give them the answers to uh, when you give them the reasons to doubt the liver yeah it's okay it's like an open wound right if you have an open mm. wound people will definitely throw stones so you yeah, need to yeah. be very sure i mean you have to trust yourself trust your instinct trust your caliber trust the education you have taken and feel responsible you know when you know mm. you are not only responsible for yourself but the people for whom I mean, the whole ecosystem around you i think then there is more water there is no mm. reason for women to feel that right especially not True. now when yes a lot has changed i'm not saying that you know we are living in a 100% yes we are living in a patriarchal world it will take some time for us to change but then if every woman decides to make that change in herself first she will be hmm. able to you know uh, create impact start from your yeah. home start from your home you're a mom you're a sister you're a mother you're a wife start from mm-hmm. your home and at home also you have domestic help start from your home start telling people that you deserve respect you mm-hmm. the way you are the way you conduct yourself the way you dress up it you have to bring authority in who you are that happens when you're mm-hmm. confident within when you're mm-hmm. sure of who you are what you do what you know you know when you yeah. are clear with the facts no one can be judgmental about who you are Right. right so right. i think that's very very important yes there are women who uh, uh, do that but then i think it's time yeah. and we as women need to help the other women you know you know people used to ask me when we used to be mentoring i love to create entrepreneurs trust me i love mm. women ask me i mean how is this how do we do this how do we reach them mm. that's what mentoring is all about right when True. We, you know you will be so happy from within if you see there is a woman who has that kind of feeling where she's finds herself not at par with her men colleagues it's time mm-hmm. for you to tell her and help her out yeah yeah, yeah. see as i said True. i'm not asking anyone to block swords we want complete mm-hmm. harmony between this relationship because i feel it's a beautiful relationship we mm-hmm. are as much incomplete as as much incomplete you know without them as much as they are incomplete without they are completely incomplete yeah. without, incomplete without us right we both True. make a wonderful team so why yeah. not you know live with a complete harmony and complete peace and happiness that happens yes. when we are both accepting each other the way we are so we have yeah. to train not only ourselves if we see any woman you know facing that we need to jump up to her and you know ask her to give her that support and i'm sure mm. we we can do it we can help it mm. Hmm. Interesting, interesting one, uh, Archana. Archana. So I see you running a power talkie magazine, right? So there are many insights where I see the from you know uh, on business, technology, and many successful leaders. You have brought their stories there. Is there any way my listeners can contribute in this journey? Why not? See, uh, uh, I thanks a lot for your talk. Uh, in that so power talk it's a it's a you know it's a lot of work behind power talk and you know what each edition if you notice you know it's a each article in that edition whoever you know the very senior senior business leaders write those articles and the idea of bringing together a single article that particular article is all about giving them projection six months hence so if you are reading the uh-huh. you know, february uh, edition you will be able to understand what the market is going to be six months hence so that mm. is my idea so it it is a very positive reading in every article is very positive uh, driven uh, feel to it because we want to tell our audience that you know there mm. is a, a what is going to be the way forward what has to yeah. be their action plan what has to be their what does their drawing uh, mm. board look like so it is we are trying to add value with that in mind i think that is really very mm. important for the readers to know we don't want to mm. get, have them stuck you know get stuck into what they are already listening from so many other things going on in the market right now i think there are so many right. uh, seminars so much of content so many uh, mm. interviews so much happening at this time there is so much of fatigue with the people because of all this you know so much of fatigue has mm. received it they need something fresh they need something which can tell them about the future about their mm. future why do we go to the astrologer the yeah. i mean we are going to astrologers 
he loved uh, to uh, you know think about all other aspects of science also because he wanted right. to understand the future right so i mean why right. would you want to read the magazine you don't want to read the magazine mm. because it's you or you don't want to read what's already going on in the market you know mm. what's going on in the market you want to know how to solve mm. things going forward you know mm. so that is what right. the idea is you know Archana, very insightful. And is there anything else you would like to add that will be of value to my listeners, especially on this topic, the secrets of power talk? Meditation mm. is one way I see it is something. It is very, very important. I urge and you know implore everyone to meditate. It is something very important. Your mm. your mental health is very important when you are happy within. It reflects. Yeah. In in the way you are, you know, are with people and with your people mm-hmm. around both in professional world and your I think the entire world you know today the way we have fought with pandemic and the way we have transitioned and very quickly mm-hmm. adapted to the changes you know, we've seen uh, both mm-hmm. at home and workplace I think we are see that's why we are called the intelligent tribe so we mm-hmm. need to stay that intelligent tribe always for that you need to really work on your energies stay positive and trust me it's not difficult to stay positive when so much is going around you there is so much of instability but you still need to stay positive how do you do that just give five minutes of your entire 24 hours to yourself in that five minutes if you can just breathe it out i'm telling you you will wake up to be a very focused person so do that with all my love and good wishes to a beautiful life for everyone true true wonderful and i must say atana you have a contagious smile and uh, definitely very encouraging and positivity whenever i've seen all of your videos so with that note last question how do you see learning trends in 2021 thank you so much jyoti thanks a lot you are you are a very beautiful woman and uh, thank you so much for having me here yes uh, for your um, for every, all of us learning uh, is something that should never stop the trends i think yeah. uh, we all are aware of it i think uh, number one is always going to be people are very open to accepting uh, technology you know people have become mm-hmm. tech savvy and they will be uh, very open to staying tech savvy going forward because that's the way life is going to be now and uh, okay. you keep okay. learning as they go along now another mm-hmm. uh, second point i think i feel uh, the gig economy is going to come in a very big way and it okay. is already seeped into our systems by gig mm-hmm. economy i mean the fact that you know corporates will not be able to uh, would not mm-hmm. want to hire you know people you know uh, for mm-hmm. them uh, on, a, on their payroll and they would want to still avail the expertise of mm, people mm. and that's where you know the corporates have learned that it's absolutely all right to have these people you know who mm. uh, can give them their services for maybe six months on a contractual basis deliver the best and then move okay. on so i think that is one mm. learning that is um, that has come to be a part of for not only the corporates but even people are now very happy about it and accepting the fact that it is as much a respected uh, profile today you know as mm. any other uh, being on a payroll so I think these okay. learnings, and of course, I think people have learned, uh, you know, to be uh, empathetic, to stay uh, in that focus. I think people have learned this, that, you know, your yeah. life is beyond your titles for sure. And that yeah. learning will never stop. That learning will never stop. I think the next time anything, anybody is negative or harsh towards the other mm. being, I think the very first thing that would come to their mind is, what if I was in this place? I have been thinking mm. of this all along the pandemic. It's been one mm. year. I have been thinking mm. about this more than ever before. What if I was mm. in that situation? What if I was in that situation? So I think mm. it's very, very important. That learning, I think, will never stop. And it will give us not one, but many case studies, you know, mm. within the family, True. outside the family, in the professional mm. world, the corporate world. And I think yeah. this will definitely make, a, you know, a world, I think that's God's way of telling us, slow down <laughs> yes yeah mm-hmm. we are growing uh, we must grow but yes i think uh, the human touch that we had actually literally given up on you know i think mm-hmm. i think that learning uh, that everyone is important and so very precious i think this has been one year where people have 
picked up their telephones, their mobiles, and fished one another instead of sending a WhatsApp message on a New Year or right. a birthday or an anniversary or a employees, uh, you know, uh, any important event. I think so. I think this is just another very important learning that human yeah. touch should not go and will not go. And that is important for all of us because after all we are yeah. in, we are on this planet earth for each other <laughs> for one another of the other right. so i think that's very important we need to stay yeah yeah. Uh, yeah yeah wonderful wonderful archana archana uh it's not over we have just wrapped up with our regular episode but we have planned some specific super questions like a rapid round to know about the leaders who come on the stars of learning podcast and these are some powerful questions targeted to know about you, which will influence my listeners to engage, enlighten, and empower. And that's the mission of my podcast too. So are you ready? Absolutely. Shoot. Sure. According to you, what is the star moment? Oh, anything that makes you happy, anything that makes you happy is a star moment. So what inspires you to do everything that you do today? Well, I think for me, a good night's sleep is very important to be able to wake up with a smile on my face is very important. That is the most important thing for me. Okay. You already own a company, Archana. What's one thing you would do differently in learning? Well, anything and everything that makes me step up or what I'm doing with my company, I'm happy to embrace everything that makes it shine even further more. The journey has yeah. just started. Wonderful. So what are the three most important things you would like to accomplish right now? I would like to accomplish. Okay. I want, uh, yeah, well, I love myself. I definitely love myself and I definitely want, you know, uh, you know, people to remember me and, uh, you know, remember me and, you know, for uh, the kind of person I have been, you know, so I definitely mm. want people to remember me as a loving person, as a caring person, as an empathetic person, as a good leader and somebody who I, I, I can stay in the hearts of the people while I'm gone, uh, I will be yeah. very happy. Yeah. Okay. So the characteristics yeah. of the best boss or a role model you ever had and what made that person great for you? Oh, wow. Lovely question. Something very close to my heart. Uh, Jodi, you know, I have been very lucky. I have worked with the best of bosses. I mean, I can't pinpoint on one single person. But one thing I would like to tell you is, you know, uh, with all my bosses, be it crew boss, be it Chenazusen, be it ELCC, be it RKGs, be it any company I have worked for, even um, as a consultant, you know, uh, working with the uh, promoters of the organization very closely. I've always worked with the promoters of my organization very closely. One yeah. thing I have noticed with all, all of them, they really give you, they trust you. And they give you mm -hmm. the liberty to work the way you would want to work. Because, you know, at okay. the end of the day, I think of, of what they really rely on is the output. You know, how mm -hmm. good your output mm -hmm. is and what you start your day or your project or your mind with. And what is it that you achieve at the end of the day or the project that you take in hand. I think that is okay. one thing that which I've enjoyed all along in this journey. That trust mm -hmm. factor of your uh, promoter in you. I think I have really been lucky to enjoy that, to be able to work with them closely and to be able to even speak to them now after I have long, you know, I've left them, you know, I'm not, I'm not working yeah. with them. You know, even mm -hmm. now I have, you know, I have access to them and I can speak to them, can stay connected with them. They can count on okay. me and I can count on them if I am mm -hmm. in their city, in their uh, country. So I think that is right. one thing which is very important. I have learned that from them, you know, uh, the patience with which they hear their employee, the patience mm. they've had to listen to my perspective and implement mm. it and, you know, also hope in many other people to listen to what I had to say and, uh, you know, go by my judgment, go by my analysis, go by my findings and implement yeah. it in the company. I think it's a big thing, you know. So those things are very mm. important for a leader to understand i do it day in and day out it's so important mm -hmm. to yes you lead as a leader absolutely acceptable mm -hmm. 
you lead mm-hmm. as a leader, but you should be mm-hmm. ready to follow people. You need to follow your people. You can't find, think of yourself as the expert or somebody right. as the you know the uh, know all and be all. No, it is not mm-hmm. like that. And people who risk their money, you know, uh, on you. I think if right. they do it, you should really respect it, respect mm-hmm. their money, respect their time, respect their judgment. So I've yeah. really been, I've really learned a lot from all my promoters all along, you know. I think sure. the responsibilities they bestow on us, you know, one after the other, you will be quite surprised to know, Jyoti, I was hired, like in opening organizations, you know, I was hired for a particular profile. And, mm. you know, with time I started, you know, realizing that I was, you know, being mounted with more and more and more and more, you know, other than mm. what I was hired for. And that used to mm. really give me a kick, that is to really give me, uh, you know, to do more, to do better each time and be involved in not one, but many aspects of their businesses, which I thought mm. were my own, you know. So I feel mm. that I was born to be an entrepreneur by the way my bosses treated me, because I never thought right. it was I was working for their companies, I was working for them in my own company. Mm. But that happened with the kind of space they gave me, with the kind of mm. trust they had in me, with the kind of, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the attention they gave to my work. I think that really made a lot of difference and that is for everyone to learn. See, it's very mm. important, the bosses, the promoters, they never leave. Uh, you yeah. should, as, a, as an entrepreneur, you never, never leave your touch in the organization, right? Your touch, mm. your favor, your sense, always yeah. being a part of your organization, right? But the people mm. you hire, like they hire me, you know, or mm. also many others, you know, when mm. they become the mouthpiece of who you are, like what you want your company mm. to be, I think then mm. that really, you know, takes, uh, it not only contributes to the professional growth, but also the personal growth of the employer. And that's what happened with me. You know, you mm-hmm. actually, they actually turned me into an entrepreneur because they made me feel that that means. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so I feel that is very important message. So as long mm-hmm. as you are very sure on the numbers and the mm-hmm. quality, you are rendering yeah. you know, and your yeah. work brings to the, uh, to, to the work, I think you are going right. to go. You should be very, very oh. focused and confident and you should be able to, you know, kind of revise those and rework those and revisit them. You know, as mm. long as you can do that, I think mm. that is one. Right. So, so Arjuna, are there any tools that you use on a daily basis to be a better you? To be a better you? Oh, yes. <laughs> Every day, 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 day. Um, I think patience is <laughs> always good. Yeah. So, uh, it's important to be a very good listener. It's important to be a very good listener, be a good listener, be a very good observer. You need to observe things, you know, uh, and, you know, understand the other person's perspective. And I think that response time, by response time, I don't mean that, you know, you are slow, but I think you should be able to absorb a lot of things, you know, think before you speak. It's very important to think before you speak and not jump at conclusions because uh, because it's, it's natural, you know, the moment a glass breaks, the, the immediate reaction is of, Oh my God, what is this? This is one of my beautiful cutlery. Oh my God, this is what my yeah. mom gave me. So there are so mm. many questions that hit your brain, you know. But the moment right, the glass right. breaks, it falls on the ground, it breaks. I mean, you need mm. to be still for a moment and just let this seep into your system that it's gone. You're mm. shouting over it or you know, you're know you giving in so many, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know uh, kind of negative thoughts to it will not bring it back. You know, mm-hmm. that if, if any human being is able to control that instant reaction, I think we can right. really mature up a lot. And it's mm-hmm. not only That's makes our common. life easy, it also makes the life of the people around us very easy. Yeah. So that instant True. reaction, we need to work on that. And I constantly try, for that I feel meditation is one thing that works wonders. It does mm-hmm. uh, really help you, you know, align your chakras inside you and, you know, to stay mm-hmm. very calm and, you know, motivated and yeah. just be at peace because things that can be you know uh rewind it they just find it you know they have gone they are in the past mm-hmm. so better yeah. to live with the present is yeah yeah so, so Arjuna, I know you mentioned meditation and the chakras is something very powerful. Is there any other habit you are practicing which has made you successful in whatever you do today? I think um, it's very important to accept things, you know, 
very very important to accept things you know the way they are when you have that sense of acceptance uh, of mm. things you, know, you don't yeah. uh, the other day a gentleman asked me about excellence you know um, yeah. uh, do you run after ac excellence so I, I was of the same view you know it's very mm. important to accept things mm. you know mm. accept things and you know uh, we are today we are talking about the the why we are talking about the how when where and staying curious mm. I think it is mm. so very important to just stay aligned with everything uh, that uh, the reason why you are there. When you are aligned right. with your systems, with your center, I think yeah. you go closer to your goals every single day because you are accepting a lot of things in the process. You are Got opening it. doors for yourself in the process. You know, right, so I right. think that is very important. Stay, stay very positive and keep opening doors for yourself. You need to learn to create opportunities for yourself. Open, mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, you know, more and more doorways for yourself to let positivity come in. Because when that happens, you have mm -hmm. to have growth. You have to have happiness. You have to have calmness. You have to have that peace in your thought processes. You know, you don't rush. You can be a hustler, of course. You have to be a hustler to make things work. But then mm. a hustler doesn't mean that you stumble. Mm. You Got can it. hustle without, it has to be a stumble free flight. So that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Sure, sure. Archana, we have come to an end of this interview. And before I ask you one last question, how can people get in touch with you to get more insight, collaborate? Where can they reach out to you? Yeah, so you know, you, you can definitely write to me on my email ID. Please feel free to uh, jot down my email ID there. Then, of course, we have LinkedIn. You can send me LinkedIn messages. You have our WhatsApp number, which is a WhatsApp number. It's always given. I can share that number with you. And if they drop a message on our WhatsApp number, then we definitely get in touch with you for whatever the reason. All you need to prevention is what is the reason that you would want to get connected to Power Talk with Archana, and someone from my team will get connected with you very soon. Sure. On a closing note and that last question, your advice to people who are new and want to accelerate their career. Okay, I think, uh, uh, you know, we've discussed this in the interview, but then I think just one thing that should, you know, you should have that fire in the belly. Have a fire in the belly and, you know, if, if it's all about startups, then I would just like to add one thing, you know, you must grab the copy of my latest edition of Power Talk. It's all on startups. And one mm -hmm. thing I would like to tell up to anybody, any startup is it's not about that idea. Trust mm -hmm. me, a startup is beyond an idea. It is, you know, mm -hmm. about, first of all, you need to be very clear about what purpose of society you are solving. You know, when you know that, what is the kind of yeah. team you have? There has to be somebody in your team who understands numbers. There has to be somebody in that team who will be able to take your product, your service to the market. There has to be, you have to have your funds. You have to, yeah. how, how would you fund your, uh, you know, uh, your uh, startup? Are you looking at funds from the outside market? What is the right yeah. time to look for funds from the outside market? Is your mm. uh, idea scalable? Is it a very niche product or uh, service that you are, uh, you know, um, offering? So, you know, trust me, when it is startup, trust me, I'm just a call away. Please message mm. us. We will be more than happy to mentor mm. you or to align you to the right mentors. We would be happy to mm. do that. Just do not mm. plunge into anything and ruin your chances of becoming a good entrepreneur. Mm, it needs sure. a lot of planning. It needs a lot of lot of judgment. It needs a lot a lot of serious work. A good idea mm. can go flat if it is not well executed. So it, it's your money. It's your hard earned money. So please mm. invest it very wisely. Bootstrap sure. it. Understand the market, the do's, the don'ts. What is the market going to accept this product? How many do you, uh, what, what are the kind of customers you have? What is the range of customers you have? What is the bandwidth of customers you have? It should not be a niche product. You know, when you are plunging into the market, it cannot be a niche product when, because you're limiting your reach. So have a product, have a, uh, this thing which caters to the masses. Even if it is a routine product, how different you can make it. 
even if it is yeah. a routine service, how different you can make it, how you can amplify it, how you can use digital media. It is not one thing. It is many. So my humble request to all the startups, if you are waking up with a good idea in your mind, catch on a nice mentor. You need a nice, nice mentoring to make sure you take a safe and a sturdy flight to your dreams of uh, plunging into your life. Your real world. That is the only thing that can take you places. If you yeah. just jump into it, you will be ruining your money and also you will go down in spirits, which is very difficult mm -hmm. to come out of it. You know? yeah, so just back, yeah. take, every step is important. Every step is important. You must consider entrepreneurship. It's a beautiful space to be in, and mm -hmm. but with the right mentoring. Sure. This was definitely great insight on loads, loads of learning, uh, Archana. So guys, all the links and resources which we have discussed in this episode will be made available in my show notes page of my podcast, Stars of Learning, and also on my website, prajvitaknowledge.com, that is P-R-A-J-V-I-T-A, knowledge.com, for your quick reference thank you so much Arjuna for being on this show and sharing all your wisdom I really enjoyed this conversation and loads loads of learning uh, throughout the session and for every questions there were huge among us of learning I have got in in fact uh, self-talk self-love uh, you know essence of life how to create an impact financial independence, associations, believing our strengths and not to look for validation, uh, learn to prioritize. Uh, my list goes on with multiple things and, uh, you know, saying or staying on track and having an open communication. Loads, loads of them, Arjuna. Thank you so much. This was definitely wonderful and I'm sure my listeners will enjoy it. Thank you so much, Jyoti. Thanks a lot for this honor. I thoroughly enjoyed this conversation with you. Thanks for this opportunity. Thank you. Have a wonderful life. Really appreciate your time. Uh, Archana. So friends, I hope you enjoyed this conversation with Archana. If you've got any learning or motivated hearing to Archana, then make sure you do share this podcast with your friends and post it on Facebook, Twitter, Insta and tag me and Archana and do let your friends know about this amazing information you have learned and let this piece of information help you to engage, enlighten and empower. By the way, I'm always grateful to everyone who tunes in, who listens, who subscribes and leave a review for our podcast on iTunes. By the way, if you haven't done that yet, that would mean a world to me. So go ahead and on any app you are listening, take a minute to write a quick review. It will help our podcast grow and I really appreciate your support. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in this show. Bye for now. Take good care of yourself. Be safe and do something engaging, enlightening and empowering. Thank you.